So in this video I'm going to be showing you three different ways to create the orange and teal colour grading effect and I've left the link for this picture I'm using in the description. So the first way I'm going to show you is using the split toning adjustment and this just tints and recolors highlights and shadows. So you can adjust the hue which controls the colour tint of highlights and shadows, the saturation which controls the intensity of the highlight and shadow colours and the balance which controls the emphasis of the adjustment. So I'm going to start with the highlights and I'm bringing the saturation all the way up so I can see the colour better. And I'm going to start dragging the slider until I get that orange colour that I want. And if you want to see more of the colour, you can drag the balance down to 0% and that will show you more of the highlight colour. And once I've found the colour, I can put the balance back on 50 to see what it looks like. And moving on to shadows, I'm going to bring the saturation all the way up again. And I'm bringing the balance up to 100 as well, so that will show me more of the shadow colour. And again, I'm dragging the hue slider until I get that teal blue. And I'm putting the balance at 50 so I can see what it looks like. And you can always adjust the saturation for each of the colours. Or you could adjust the balance, so if you want more of the highlight colour to come through, drag the slider to the left. Or if you want more of the shadow colour, drag to the right. And you can lower the opacity if it's too much. And for the second way of doing it, you can add a curves adjustment and you can adjust the colour, tone and alpha channels with this adjustment. And for this I'm going to be focusing on the red and blue channels. So I'm starting with red and if I drag the top node over to the left, it will add red into the highlights. And if I drag the bottom node over to the right, it will add a greenish blue to the shadows. Then I move into the blue channel and if I drag the top node down it will add some yellow into the highlights and if I drag the bottom node up it will add blue into the shadows. And again you can adjust the opacity. And the third way of doing it is using a colour balance adjustment. And this adjustment provides a way to modify the contribution of particular colours to set a total range. So I'm starting with the highlight range and I'm dragging the first slider to the right which will add red into the highlights. And the third slider to the left which will add yellow in the highlights. And then I'm moving to the shadows range. And I'm dragging the first slider to the left, which will add cyan to the shadows. And I'm dragging the third slider to the right, which will add blue. And if you want, you can always add a vibrance adjustment and bring up the vibrance and saturation. 